Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and today we're going to talk about a 2009 Mercedes-Benz E350 Coupe. Now the E350 Coupe in this series is actually quite rare, especially compared to the old CLK350. With the newer series, which is called the W207, I mean the coupe, they've offered some newer engines. And there's an E250, which puts out about 150 to 160 kilowatts of power. And the V6, which is this engine, is 200 kilowatts. And a lot of people thought that, you know, for the extra money for the V6, they would buy the four cylinder. But what you don't get with the four cylinder turbo is consistent power and that beautiful smooth V6 engine. Surprisingly enough for me personally I found the E350 to be more economical than the E250 turbo and I think it's because it's not working as hard. You don't have to rev it so much to uh, take off or get up hills and all that sort of thing, especially if you've got some passengers on board. So I think the E350 is a significantly better car. Despite looking at the 0 to 100 performances and seeing that there's not a big difference, you really need to drive one. It comes in this beautiful colour, which I believe is Indium Grey. It's got Pirelli tyres, it's got the beautiful timber inserts. And being a 350, it, it really comes with everything. Reverse camera, navigation, memory electric seats, dual zone climate control. It's also got the big panoramic roof. Um, other features include xenon headlights, daytime running lights, and these very nice alloy wheels. The V6 engine in this model also has twin timing chains and it's absolutely reliable. The earlier 3.5 litre V6 engines had a couple of little you know, minor issues as they were a brand new engine, but by 2009 any issues they had were ironed out and it's a very smooth engine. This car has done just 86,000 kilometres since it was new. It's a four seater. It's even got the beautiful timber in the back there, which is a very nice. It was a significant improvement on the previous CLK. This model is also built in Germany, which is great. So you've got performance, economy, reliability, looks. I mean, this is a car which for me just ticks all the boxes. It's absolutely stunning. And right down to little things like the E350 has the twin exhaust system at the back there, whereas the 250 just has the single exhaust. Also find with the 250 when you put your foot down on pond takeoff, there's not a lot there, but then suddenly the turbo kicks in, you get a little bit of wheel spin, and it's just not consistent, as I was saying. The V6 is much nicer, but it is quite rare. If you're looking online, I'm sure you'll see that there's much more 250s and 350s available. So I think this will hold its value down the track. It's done 86,000 kilometres, which is relatively low. It's also got the Harman Kardon sound system. And it's got that great service history. And luckily, one of the mechanics who's been looking after it in recent years has written down a lot of the work that's been done, which is certainly a good thing to see, as opposed to just a stamp in the book with a tick on an A or a B service. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We are very proud to offer you this car at the Old Timer Centre in Marrickville. Thanks so much for watching.